The assassin had had his day. Very true. He'd kidnapped Triss Marigold. It seemed like Foltis' life had not been enough. It seemed like the killer also wanted the monarch's former advisor. There was no time to think. It was time to act. Grabbing Geralt, I embarked on a voyage upriver, deeper into the Pontar Valley. There, in a region known as Lormark, King Henselt of Kedwin had made camp with his army. King is the key word here, denoting the central figure in my plan to capture the Kingslayer. The special forces of King made the soil light lightly upon him. Foltest had lost some of their customary enthusiasm, treating us to not one single joke of the how many ways can you skin an elf variety. Which only goes to support my theory that the human mind is capable of producing a finite amount of horror before some manner of reflection springs itself upon it. been a massacre! Bones everywhere! How in the world did Cleversig harness so much of the power? Do you always get so excited at the sight of skulls, Death Mode? <sighs> Scoff all you want, I speak of magic! The kind of spells that win wars, thousands incinerated in seconds! <laughs> power, destruction, annihilation! Yes, after which Sabrina Cleversig was burned at the stake. And the Pontar Valley remains within Edern's borders. Edern is a carcass. Still showing life signs, but the realm's days are numbered. No peasant revolt can change that. You're wrong, Deathmold. This country lives. I can feel it. Like an old wounded bear covered in scars, hounds all round it, but still strong. Still deadly. This one. Sire! Long live Sire, the king! And the Edernian barons won't dare stand against you. You shall see that shortly. I've prepared everything. Baron Fellat has forever hinted Long live the Grand Trenches. Long live Fellat is unparalleled scum. The other nobles are panic-stricken at the very thought of Saskia with her peasant and non-human rebels. They are unprepared to fight and know it very well. And Demavern's cob? Has he named his price? Prince Stennis has yet to respond, but Felot has assured me. I must see him. Look into his eyes. I'll know what he's made of then. We most humbly greet His Majesty Henselt, King of Kedwan, heir to the dynasty of the Unicorn, Lord of Ard Kareg, Archduke of Barnard, and Vanquisher of Nilfgaard. Welcome to Edern. How much do you want? Your Majesty surely jests. I couldn't be more serious. How much for your signatures? A hundred thousand Novigrad crowns, we thought, to each of us, and the titles of Marquis. Oh, We speak of Upper Eden, of coal and silver mines, numerous factories, the sole white marble quarry this side of the Yuruga, and the North's main east-west trade route. We speak of Lormark. I advise you to adopt the new nomenclature. In exchange, we shall swear fealty and acknowledge your majesty as sovereign of these lands. I shall give you naught for your worthless signatures. I have no need of them. But your majesty, without our support, you'll forever be the invader, the occupying force, the enemy. The folk of Eden... The folk of Eden follow Saskia the Dragon Slayer and Prince Stennis. I wish to speak to them. Sawyer, the Dragon Slayer approaches, white flag in hand. Excellent. Let her pass. Just out of curiosity, what does Upper Eden sell for these days? How much do you demand, lass? King, command your vulture to shut his beak before I thrust his cockerel up his arse and twist so hard he'll crow until noon reverts to morning. I... 
Sire, you must have her restrained. Oh, will you bully me as well? Anything to save Eden, King. A whore, after all. Shut up, Deathmold. I've rather taken a liking to this Saskiel. Say your peace, woman. King, withdraw your army, recognize Upper Eden's sovereignty and your persecution of non-humans, and give them leave to quit your realm. Do this, and save yourself and your army. <laughs> you have balls, woman, but what would I gain? My soldiers would call me a coward. I am Henselt of Ard Kareg. I'll not run from a woman, even if she be a dragon slayer. I see one other solution. You and I, King, here and now, before these folk and the gods, I challenge you. As in the old days, when the Honourable ruled this world, Upper Eden to the victor! The lass has gone mad to challenge a king. Sire, this is absurd. We shall crush them in battle. They say the lass has slain a dragon. She could be dangerous. Precisely why she makes a worthy foe. Don't disappoint me, Dragon Slayer. Please show me how it's done. Begin! Facing one another in a chivalrous duel shall be Henselt of Ard Kareig, King of Kedwin, Sovereign of Cairngorm and Malior, last of the line of the Unicorn, and Saskia, the wench who killed a dragon. The victor shall take Lormark. May the gods settle this. Begin! Draw your sword! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop in the name of Kreev, Freyr and Militele! Hey, halt! What's with you, Zivik? Booze made your batty. Don't you recognize me? I'll be ploughed and damned. Why the hell did you bring him here, Roach? He's a witcher. I know who the horseman is. Ploughing Kingslayer at the gate of a king's camp? Why, he's not even bound. Easy, lads. The witcher's no murderer. I'll vouch for that. As for kings, well, I desperately need to see yours. You're in for a wait then, Mr. Special Mission Knight. Don't move, mutant! One of you go get the sergeant, and while you're at it, fetch a solid piece of rope to bind the freak. Come on, Zivik, no need for that. Where'd you say the king was? Out in the field somewhere, negotiating. Hey, Kingslayer, drop your weapons, or do I need to pack a bolt up your ass? Don't move! Don't even twitch, mutant! Hands where I can see him! Shoot! Smash the freak! What the fuck? Ah! Uh. 
Soldiers! Ah! It's Sabrina's cross! Edernians are here as well. And you are the best! There's enough power for the world! <laughs> <laughs>
he lives! Dissipating, we're near its end. Death Mold, Sheeler, meet me in my tent. You're to explain what the hell happened there, and how we're to get rid of it. As you command, Your Majesty. I'll tolerate no delays on this matter, and summon all my company commanders. Immediately, Your Majesty. Corporal, I'd like you to watch the Witcher closely. He just pulled me from a magic hell, so I doubt he wants my head as he took fall tests. But I'll not have him wandering round the camp like some stray dog. Occupy him for a time, then bring him to my tent. Sire, I must request an audience. Later. I'll see my mages first, then the Witcher. Ah, just lovely. And here I'd hope for a calm little war. Nowhere I might wet my throat around here. Roach, willing to vouch for this overgrown urchin? He did not kill Foltest or Demavend, if that's what you're asking. You've got my assurance on that. Good enough for me. Let's go, then!
Our armorer. Busy as ever with military commissions, but he'll take a private commission from time to time. Yeah? You're the quartermaster's assistant? Yeah. Great. I want to see the best equipment you have. I've got the coin. The army stands to gain, not lose by me. I should think so. So? We don't have all day. Let's go. Ah, we're here at last. The canteen, the most important place in the camp. If you ever get bored, you should find a monster contract or two on the notice board. Fed you their propaganda. Ah, well, what if she's truly an annoying bear? Ah, don't worry about it. The Witcher will take care of everything. Here's where the king organizes tournaments. All glamour, ceremony, noses and cocks in the air. Between those, we kill time thrashing about with swords, pikes, chairs, the works. Good stuff. No holds barred. They pay well too if you know who to talk to and who to bet on. Excuse me a moment, Witcher. How did the fight go? You've a nose for this, Zivik. You won again. My gold? You gonna bet on more fights today? Of course. I'll come by later. See him, Witcher. Loosen his bonds a bit and he's liable to jump at your throat like a rabid mutt. One of your Viscoyatel. How did you capture him? 
Scouts found him wounded in the ravines. Someone massacred a small unit. The boy said it was a bloodbath, as if the Reaper just swung his scythe right through them. Whoever attacked them was very strong. Any idea who it might have been? No. But if they managed to ambush elves in the wild, I'd rather not meet them. Right, Zivik. Let's go see the king. How's it going, lads? I can't feel me plowing feet from all this standing around. Any chance you'll be sending up some replacements? In an hour. Open up the gate. The king wants to see the Witcher. Ah, uh, yeah. Go straight to the royal tent. You can't miss it. I've a few things to take care of. Godspeed, Zivik. I'll be near the main gate if you need me. So long. Ha! A Witcher! The king must have summoned him to fight the wraiths. Nearly everyone hunts you, yet you live in spite of that. Impressive. In no small part thanks to you, Excellency. I've helped you, yes. I trust I shan't regret it. As do I. I wouldn't want to seem ungrateful. Are you seeking employment? I was unaware you fellows hired yourselves out for battle. My aim here is different. Really? Perhaps I can be of assistance. What's the Emperor's envoy doing here? Satisfy my curiosity. The last unfortunate conflict left the Northern Kingdoms in pitiful economic condition. His Imperial Majesty desires stability. We wish to offer financial assistance, so... I'm visiting those lands hardest hit by the war. Henselt is coping admirably as far as I can see. The details of my visit here are reserved for the Emperor and the Kedweni King. You sure they're that big a secret? I mean, they could be important to me. I can reveal one thing. The Emperor was very moved to hear the White Wolf had returned. He asked me to investigate the matter personally and submit a report. Why do I interest him? He didn't say. His Imperial Majesty keeps his motivations to himself. Come in, Witcher. I wish you to feel at ease, as this is an unofficial audience. You helped me in the mist, thus I surmise you do not seek my death. Which leads me to ask what you do seek here, Geralt of Rivia. Peace and quiet, sire. I need to clear my name. Though I tend not to meddle in politics, this time I believe I have no choice. Hmm. You must answer quickly and unequivocally. You must be clear, Witcher. I'm in no mood for excuses hiding behind professional codes and trade secrets. Did you kill Foltest? No. Do you know who did? A Witcher named Letho. Do you know each other? No. I was told you lost your memory. How can you know? I can only say what I know to be certain. You wanted clarity, sire. Detanserville claims this Letho is in the area. Is that true? Yes. What does he want here? My head? He's hiding from Yorvith and his Scoia'tael. I don't know his plans. And you aim to get him? I do. Last question. Do you know who had Foltest and Demavent assassinated? Who's behind the Kingslayers? I don't know. But I'll find out when I find Letho. My spies have confirmed your words. I suppose I must believe you. Now to the other matter. The mist, the wraiths, all that magic shit holding up my campaign. My mages, as usual, have proved useless. They blather on about higher magic, delayed curses and other hogwash. But nothing comes of it. This matter must be settled with a sword. A witcher's sword. Will you manage this task? I'm willing to try. Excellent! Lift the curse, and you'll learn the meaning of royal generosity. 
And even should you fail to catch this letho, I shall help you clear your name. Consider Deathmold at your disposal. He'll give you all the necessary information. Also, you are free to move about the camp and its environs from now on. Now, leave me alone. As we forged our way through the fog, you claimed it was Glevisig's curse. Sabrina Glevisig's. She was a sorceress, my former advisor. I ordered her bound to a wagon wheel and burned alive. While dying, she cursed me and my lineage. That was three years ago. Sire, do you remember the curse itself? What exactly did Sabrina say? All she said at the time has been fulfilled to some degree. A star adorned with a bloody braid will cut across the heavens. Square coins from maritime depths will beguile the hearts of fools. Coins? Deathmold found a few such coins among soldiers accused of treason. What did you condemn Sabrina for, sire? Is that important? Sire, we're not talking about a fortune told in a tent on market day, nor about some curse cast by a novice mage. This curse caused a solar eclipse and summoned hordes of specters. We're dealing with a complex spell that operates at several levels. Uncommon knowledge and skill were required to cast it. Lifting it will be even more difficult. If I'm going to deal with it, I need you to cooperate. Ah, the plague. So be it. What did you condemn Sabrina for, sire? One year after the Peace of Synthra, I fought Demerven for Lormark. General Vandergrift commanded a part of my force. He forded the Pontar and joined battle on this field. It raged until evening when Sabrina Glevesig decided to take matters into her own hands. Fireballs rained down onto the battlefield. Three thousand men turned to bloody charred meat scraps. The fire consumed Kedwenis and Adernians alike. Knights boiled alive in their armor. Mad beasts howling with pain. War is for the honorable. When the likes of Levisig enter the fray, it turns into hell. What drove Sabrina to attack her own army? Any specific reason? I've heard none, not even speculation. She was my advisor, a member of the Council of Mages. For years I was forced to tolerate her excesses, schemes, court scandals. Was she loyal? Ha! Only to herself. The curse was cast three years ago. Any sign it's been active in the interim? My son was killed during a hunt. Anything strange or unnatural occur at the time? A rabid boar ripped open his femoral artery. I witnessed it. An accident, nothing more. The curse was activated today. I need to know why. As we negotiated, a fight broke out. I killed a priest of Creve. Perhaps that... Maybe... Witcher, a word, if you will. Look at that, boys. You have no idea how delighted I am to work in tandem with you. True, I have no idea. Better times approach, Geralt, you shall see. I trust you're not bothered if I refer to you by name. Not at all. Wonderful. I feel we shall become great friends. I'm not looking for new friends, Deathmold. Let's get to work. I see. As you seem to be the hero, how might I help you, White Wolf? Did you notice that not all the specters were aggressive? Hmm. Most would disappear when we neared them. I think the curse's power corrupts the ghosts of those who died in the battle, turning them into draugers. Draugers? Is that some professional name you witches have for specters? They're demons, Deathmold. Draugers are demons of war that arise on battlefields where the fighting was vicious and the slaughter particularly bloody. They are hatred and bloodlust in condensed form. The name matters little. Do you know how to rid us of these draugers? A silver sword's enough to send them to their rest. But as long as the curse remains active, new ones will appear. The soldiers' ghosts are the key. If we could reverse the tide of the battle... Don't delay! Grab your sword and start reversing! I'll need some symbols of war that belonged to the soldiers who perished here. Artifacts symbolizing hatred, death, courage, and faith. 
They have to be magically active and linked to those who died. Without them, I won't be able to summon the ghosts. Well, I've no idea how to find them, apart from which I know little about war symbolism. I'll deal with the artifacts. I have another job for you. Have you dealt with curses before? I've cast a few in my time. One victim sprouted donkey's ears in a tail, another's house burned down. Nothing too serious. Shame. Have you removed curses, lifted spells? Never had the chance. But I mastered the theory involved. Best in my class at the Magic Academy. They don't teach you about curses like this one at Banard. Glevis's curse is a fourth level blood spell. It's also known as the Archmistress's curse. A misnomer, for they've been cast by generally crazed mages or priests, not necessarily women. You've done your homework. Explain this blood curse to me. An ordinary blood curse is a trivial thing. You let a little of your own blood. Best done at midnight, surrounded by lit candles. Sabrina had a whole pyre around her. Tell me about Glevisig's curse. Read about it for yourself. I have all the necessary literature. In fact, you only need the great encyclopedia of curses, spells and prophecies. And a, a volume compiled by Tessard of Rees and Margarita Laurentil, Masters of Magic on Curses Selected Writings. I'm not going to waste my time reading. Tell me the important bits. Oh, no need to be ashamed, Geralt. In these times, few get the opportunity to learn the arts of reading and writing. Illiteracies. I can read, mage. Times are wasting. Are you going to start helping me? The effects and phenomena generated by a fourth level blood curse require an immense amount of the power. The eclipse, the death of a dynasty, the battle of spectres. No sorcerer, no living being can summon such levels of energy. It's quite simply impossible. But some clever mages discovered how to make possible the impossible. Since then the world has lived in fear of your curses. Genius. What did you discover? A prophecy that initiates a blood curse is simply a spell that binds the power. It should be cast at a site possessing the appropriate accumulation characteristics. A battlefield is perfect. Blood-soaked ground, defined boundaries, a symbolic dimension. When the caster utters the words of the prophecy, the curse begins to accumulate the power. For the last three years, day after day, month after month, the initiating curse has been gathering the power drawing it from the elements of fire, earth, air, and water. The energy thus accumulated could move the stars. Enter the Activator, one of the prophesied events possessing its own symbolic dimension. It releases the accumulated energy for use by the curse proper. Ordinarily, the curse cannot utilize all the built-up power which must be released in some way, so one gets side effects, like solar eclipses. Are you sure Sabrina cast the curse? Positively. Curses of this kind are cast rarely. There have only been six confirmed cases. How many confirmed cases of their being lifted? One. By a team of mages led by Archmistress Francesca Finderbear, whence came the curse's other appellation. In any case, Sabrina Glevisig was part of that team. Small world. And one that just got a little uglier. That's not all. The curse that Francesca and Sabrina dealt with was meant to end the lives of the last of the Tyson dynasty, the rulers of Kovir. It was cast by Scarlet Rodelega, a very talented but completely mad man. A prophecy and an activator were also involved. I see. Sabrina just stole her curse from this Rodelega. Precisely. Beside which the king himself and a company of armed men witnessed her casting it. We've got our comet and murder. What about the coins? We have those as well. Not enough for you. No. Why do I get the feeling I've stumbled on some shameful secret? A state secret. If you don't tell me, your head of state may soon lose his head. There's a plot afoot within the military. Those involved share a symbol, a square coin adorned with a fish. Let's do this. I shall in no way hinder your investigation and you will reveal to me anything you learn. Should I happen upon anything related to the curse? You'll let me know. So be it. Why is Henselt still breathing? He killed the priest. Why didn't he burst like a ripe tomato under a dwarf's heel? Perhaps Glevisig wishes Henselt to wait for the minute to death. I don't think so. I know a few sorceresses. They're mean, true, but they also want results. Sabrina cast the curse while roasting at the stake. Not the most comfortable circumstances. I suspect she botched something. Are you suggesting Henselt may be safe? I'm suggesting he could be saved, provided we cut him off from the heart of the curse, the Battle of Spectres. It's the weakest link. 
How could we do that? I don't know yet, but I suspect I could summon Sabrina's ghost and force her to free Henselt. First, I need to learn the circumstances of her death. If I'm not mistaken, you need blood to cast a blood curse. Precisely. Unachievable otherwise. Sabrina was bound to a wagon wheel. Where did she get enough blood? She put a spell on a soldier who gave her a coup de grace. It was easy. The minds of some soldiers are so uncomplicated. Sabrina needed one of them to strike her, shorten her suffering, but complete the curse. However, this is where she erred. That whore performed miracles, gathered the power, got the prophecy and activator right, but fell flat on her face on the simplest thing at the end. Don't get so excited. She chose a fool, a bungler. I heard he thrust five times with his spear, yet the witch's soul would not quit her corpse. There was no one guarding the pyre? It was one of the guards the sorceress chose for the task. His comrades were irate. He spoiled the show for them. The king was no longer anywhere near. In any case, blood flowed and the curse took root. Yes, but the harlot got her due. You're gonna help me, Deathmold. Of course, as the king ordered. Listen up. You'll do the paperwork. I get the feeling you like it. I'll need a number of protective rooms to summon Sabrina's ghost. They need to detain the sorceress's ghost and anything else that enters this world with it. Find something for me in your library. The runes need to be easy to produce. I haven't seen any artists around here. Apart from that, the Draugrs are likely to begin their forays in search of Henselt. When they leave the battlefield, they'll grow weaker. Your men should be able to handle them. Just equip them with silver-plated weapons. Henselt could also use something silver to defend himself. Over the entrance to his tent, hang a wreath of sunkfoil and fool's parsley. Inside, a fire fueled by juniper branches must burn at all times. Where will I get so much silver? Melt down your collection of pots for all I care. Just get it. Those aren't pots. They're silver vases of Naziah. Last of all, give Henselt an instructional talk. Explain that I'll need him. And what will you be doing? Drinking ale and fondling the camp women? There's that, yes. Though I'll also prepare to summon Sabrina's ghost and figure out what I need to send the fighting specters back to the afterlife. I'll drop by and give you more work as I learn about this curse. How did you divine that you might recover your memory by lifting the curse? The only diviner I've ever trusted told me. Interesting. That being? A drunkard and a fool in love. He's dead. But keep your nose out of my past. Camp's gone berserk looking for the coins. Grown lads with their arses in the air, scavenging around the tents like idiots. Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? No at all. I smell a rat. Damn it! This is a brothel, not a military camp. You're out of your league. Have to sit it out like hens on their eggs until this mist. I smell it. It won't just disappear. They say only a spell will lift. I've no bloody idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. I am your humble servant. We'll have to sit it out like hens on their eggs until this mist lifts. It won't just be. How'd you do? No talking to the prisoner! What do you want? <laughs> Normally, I only talk to drunks. Mm. 
Seen any square coins around here? Square coins and white mice are good signs you had enough of the booze. I need to find me, mate. Let me be. I'm done with this cursed place. Oh, Here, Square coins. Oh, oh, Fuck. As long as they pay us, I'll sit. What is it, Witcher? <laughs> Can I speak freely? If you want to be sly, best you step away. I'm looking for someone with a square coin. <coughs> Why is that? I can only tell someone who has one. You got one? No. Then don't ask, for you'll learn nothing. Aldren! Aldren! Here, boy! Who do I spy if not the famed Geralt of Rivia? You seem to know me, but I have no idea who you are. And you're worse off for that, for I can make you even more famous. You write ballads or something? I've no notion of songs, but the king's vested me with the task of organizing nightly tourneys. A swordmaster like you must be eager to show off his skills. Nightly tournaments are a pastime for real men. Does King Henselt have any interests besides fighting? We value nightly tradition in Kedwin. Only jewels in the arena let a knight stay in good form and hone his skills. I'm done with this cursed place. The bloody comet. Square coins. Oh, Dren! Fuck! Oh, Dren! As long as they pay us. Here, boy! Oh, Dren! Hello? What is it? Leave me be, father! Leave you be! Your life's at stake! Why, your mother would have my head if anything happens to you! No! This is about my honor! And ply what mother does to you, I'll practice! I must prepare! Leave me be, yeah. Witcher! I must train! No time for idle chat! Get a hold of yourself, soldier. Mind if I join you? Think I have the right to stop you from taking a free stool? No right, but you might not want company while you drink. And why might you want to drink with me? Always better to talk business over a tankard. Let me buy a round. All the same to me. Getting sad drunk? Mm-hmm. My son's decided to kill himself. He's decided to duel Letant Avid, known as the Butcher of Sidorus. All in all, that makes him a dead man. Letant Avid? Who's that? A killer! Plenty of those in the army. No, killing enemies is not the same as slaughtering your own countrymen. The Butcher likes the latter, and he's good at it. The best. They're going to duel to the death? Are you that ignorant? We've been sitting here for weeks. Nothing was happening, and hence said do like that, so he's organized some diversions. You mean tournaments? Not like tournaments, more like murders. Mock battles without the mocking. The jewelers really leave the arena on their own two feet. When our unit learned that Six Company was putting forward the Butcher of Sidorus, there were no volunteers, so we drew straws and it fell to Sven. He can't back out. He can, but he won't. I've pleaded, I've begged, but my son's a stubborn one. The pup's got honor. But what good's honor to a corpse? What if I helped you? What kind of question is that? Could I count on you in return? Save my son, and there won't be a thing I wouldn't do to aid you. I take that as your vow. Where's Sven? Training in front of the canteen, near the mercenary's tent. You'll know him when you see him. Why did they turn out like his mum? Must my devilish blood course through his veins? Are you Sven? Who's asking? Somebody who just might save your ass. Pass off! I wouldn't play the hero if I were you. You don't know me. 
I spoke to your father. Ha! I'll wager he told you the sad story of Sven, who needs to be rescued. I'm no wandering knight, and you're no princess in distress. I promised your father I'd help you. Then go back and ask his pardon for tricking him. Will you feel better when they kill you? I'll certainly feel worse if I cower out. I'm the last one who'd ask you to do that. What will you do? Summon the Butcher and send them out on an urgent mission to deflower the Virgin of Edirne? No, we'll fight as a pair against Latond and his second. Your honor will remain untouched, like a twelve-year-old nun's petal. Why do you wish to help me? Don't ask me to explain myself. Now wave that sword around some more. We both need you to practice. Take care. See what we saw the squirrels again. Surprised! They have a hand in every rebellion, every... I'm looking for Letand Avid, the Butcher of Sidorus. What do you seek? I want to try my luck. Strange. Most shit themselves at the sight of my sword. They say you're equal to a Witcher in a fight. They lie. I'm better. We'll see. You'll need to wait. I've a fight lined up already. We could always duel in pairs. I look around and I see the cream of Kedweni Knights. Someone's bound to agree. I am Edwin Lysum, known also as the Petal. If Latond will have me, I'll gladly stand at his side. Why do they call you the Petal? I've no need for one who plows maidens simply for the pleasure of deflaring them. You offend me greatly, Latond. I owe the moniker to the fact that I place flower petals in the mouths of the foes I defeat. I'll be glad to see anything stuffed in the Witcher's mouth. So be it. You know me, I'm not prejudiced. But I don't get it. What's wrong with those non-humans? Ah, Aunt? Has he agreed? Yes. Some horsemen, eh? Unique among them. Ready? Uh-huh. Let's go get him. Most gracious king, noble lords, men at arms, shortly in the arena you shall witness the famed Leton Davit, known also as the Butcher of Sidoris, at whose side shall stand the Honorable Edwin the Petal Lisum. Opposing them are Sven of Somewhere, and Geralt of Rivia, Witcher! May the gods favor the better men! Begin! was a noble title. Our gracious and merciful ruler, King Henselt, shall generously bestow this upon the young Sven. Heralds will announce these subsequent duels. Long live King Henselt! Long live Kedwin! Thank you. You salvaged my honor. Who salvaged that foolish head of yours? I'm a knight now! The king himself will do the honours. You were born in a pigsty where the labour came to your mother 18 springs ago. Nothing will change that. Witcher, I said you could demand what you will, and my word's no worse than a noble's. You demanded payment for helping me? Everything has its price. What is it you wish? Information on those who carry square coins. Father! Silence! 
Why do you need to know? I can't say. And neither can you, father. An old soldier's word is no handful of hay with which to wipe your arse. I'll have naught to do with this. Go to Madame Carl's brothel and ask for Whistling Wendy. The madam will take you to her tent and leave you alone. Wendy will ask what you wish. Tell her you want her smile to open the gates of paradise. Are we even? Yeah. And beware of Vincent Trott. He may be hiding with the conspirators. Dangerous man, that one. Death Mole's looking for him. And if he finds him, we may all end up tasting the executioner's axe. That scoundrel falls into the sorcerer's hands. He'll give us all up to save his own skin. I'll be careful. Trot wears a magic suit of armor. He could prove a difficult foe, even for you. Witcher. What? The king is impressed with your skills. He's called on me to organize a tournament. If this goes on, his entire army will be slaughtered before he moves against Edern. This time it'll be a tourney of knights. None of that slaughter for the riffraff to enjoy. The king will reward the winners handsomely. If you're interested, find me by the arena. How did you wind up here? Audrey, where are you? Audrey, steal the boy. Audrey, this mist's driving me crazy. Oi, Witcher! Out in these wastelands, hunting monsters? Well, if you see two of my men, tell them I'll rip them both brand new assholes if they miss muster. We'll see if I come across anyone. Luck be with you. You're a good fellow. Ah, find them and you'll see Corporal Zivik knows how to be grateful. Not another fucking stone.
I fought the Nilf Guardians a few years back. Now, well, well, a witcher. Girls, prim yourselves. How can I help you, handsome? I'm looking for a whore. We've got plenty of those, you'll be glad to hear. But you'll need to show me your coin before you choose one. We all have our principles. Well, these are my girls. Choose, white-haired one. I've heard good things about Whistling Wendy. At your service. My prettiest girl, tis true. Fool soldiers gave her that stupid nickname. Tidy yourself, Wendy. Witcher on the way. Come on in. The Ripper is afoot! What do you desire, my hero? I want your smile to part the gates of paradise. Come with me. Vincent Trot, you're a little elusive. Here alone? Not wise, Witcher. We'll see about that. I'm wearing Selkirk's armor, you know. Pretty much renders me invincible in a duel. I didn't know you had Selkirk's armor. I guess that changes things. <laughs> if you think we're willing to let you go, or that you can escape through magic trickery of some sort. Relax. I'm not going anywhere. Give me the chainmail and I'll forget everything. Whistling Wendy, your plot. I know about the coins. You're Death Mole's hound. I don't trust you. You don't need to. I just need the chainmail. Not interested in anything else. Time to remove it. And hand it over. Then you'll be on your way. And all will be well. Doesn't sound like my kind of story. How's this instead? I'll kill you. Take your swords and gold, and the gods will rain good fortune upon me for ridding them of a filthy mutant. Die! Put your legs out of your arms! 
Are there trousers here? A super soldier Aye, serum. Aye, there are. Not. But you don't mind. What's so strange about that? Other land. The elder and the recruiter are coming for you. He was slaughtering pigs at the time, so he takes the pigs off. He said he would forbid them from collecting doors, but not where there's no Salutations. Well, it was here yesterday. Audrey! Oh, here, boy! Audrey! Oh, I'm done with this cursed place. Bloody comet. Square coin. Salutations. Audrey! Oh, where are you? Piss off out of here. You're talking to an elder. So show a little respect, you prick licker. Respect for you? This is no place for crappers like you. Out, I said. Aye, true. Join the pigs in the pen. That's your place. Best leave. 
Old Maverick ain't a good companion. Unless you're looking for someone to mock. What I saw back there, that happen often? What's the problem? I've bigger problems to deal with than the camp tramps. My nightmares have invaded my waking life. The specters haunt and hunt me by day. Come on. Nightmares are common. Start at the beginning. One night, I walked to the riverside and sat there, staring at the stars. I must have fallen asleep. I dreamt of my birdie, her milk-white bosom, her gentle voice. I saw and heard her as if she sat beside me, and then that voice became a terrifying whisper. Curdled the blood in my veins. I opened my eyes, but the specter remained. It went on talking, hovering over me, stretching its mitts out towards me. I felt a deathly chill, and then it happened. What? Never been a coward. At the fore and fierce in many battles. But a human's one thing. A specter's another. No other way to put this. I shit myself. Out of fear. Pants right full by the time I got back to camp. Since then, they mock me. Call me the Crapper. I'm not surprised, to be honest. Here to visit your old friends? Just looking around. You? A lengthy stay in Hensel's camp, and one is likely to become somewhat Kedwinized. I'd like to avoid that. Rightly so. I found a letter addressed to the people of Kedwin. A letter? Hmm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Hensel's a prick. I had to make from Nidia. They killed him. To sit it out like hens on their eggs until this mist lifts. It won't just disappear. Look at that, boys. We need to talk. What? No, hello. Good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. Nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. I found Trot and a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Ah, oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. Any reward for the conspirators? Indeed. A nice round sum per head. I could use the gold. How many were there? Vincent and five others. You killed six men. You and your kind should be isolated. The reward is yours. Here. Looking for the 
grown lads with their arses in the air. No talking to the prisoner! Trouble approaches. Where are you? Still looking for coins. Oh, what else am I to do? Here oh, boys. Oh, 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 Not another fucking stone. I fought the Nilf Gas. The super soldier seer I was. The elder and the recruiter are Close coming distance. for you. He was slaughtering pigs at the time. <laughs>
What you doing here? Get out of the way. I need to inspect this area. Be careful! They say stepping in the ashes brings bad luck. Get us out of here, will ya? You came here on your own. You can get back on your own. This place is crawling with droners. I mean, we'd have stayed in our tents on our arses if we'd known. We're safe in the circle, but three feet outside? And who knows what would happen. All right, we'll go back together, but let me look around first. Apparently it's bad luck to tread on the ashes. Who cares enough to bring all these things here? Who cares enough to bring all these things here? Strange aura. Let's take a closer look. Carved from a solid piece of stone. Reusable, you could say. Candles, amulets, coins. People make offerings here like they would at a shrine. Candles. The stench is worse than Zoltan's boots. Nothing unusual about them otherwise. Square coins adorned with a fish. I guess the plotters like to come here. Let's see... An unnatural stillness typical of intersections and places where streams of the power meet. Unnerving, but harmless. People seem to be staying away from the wheel. They're afraid, while the gifts are at a safe distance from it. Except for one person with Kedweni Army Issue boots. Glad to know I'm not the only one to desecrate this site. Animal tracks. Dogs, wolves, bears, even birds. You'd think this was a feeding ground, but they all fear the circle. Except for cats. Their tracks are everywhere. One even napped on the pedestal. Triss once told me cats like to sleep on intersections, and they're the only beasts apart from dragons who can draw the power. They clearly like this place. Sabrina was nailed to this wheel. Something protected the wheel from the flames. It's hardly scorched. Hmm. Fresh holes and splinters. Someone's pulled nails from the wheel recently. I'd better take one, just in case. I need to bring the king here. I need to reenact the execution. If I can only summon Sabrina's ghost, I could force her to lift the curse. The Draugrs and the Mist will remain, but at least the King will be safe. I need to know what happened here. Witnesses of the execution, they're the key. If I can just find out how Sabrina died, I should be able to free Henselt of the curse. Two leads. Sabrina's cultists and the Nail Thief, who's obviously immune to the aura of this place. Time to question some soldiers. You've looked and touched your fill, right? Let's get out of here. Did you light those candles? We did. What's it to you? From what I've seen, it's not safe here. The beasts are too scared to come near the circle. Maybe, but you gotta leave the circle to return to camp. Help us get back! If you all know this area is infested with monsters, why the hell did you come here? On a kind of pilgrimage to visit the circle. Feel their eyes on you. They're watching us. We won't get out alive, superstitious idiots that we are. Don't you believe the visionary? You don't have to. But it was worth a try, right? Old idiot. It's his fault we ended up here. Who is this visionary? He's behind all this. He talks of miracles in the circle. I believe him. No, why? He lives deep in the valleys, but something protects him from all those harpies. Did you see them burn the sorceress? Three years ago! We both served under Henselt then, but only the Fifth Company guarded the stake. They say the King never wanted to make a spectacle. Some soldiers never come here, but others visit the circle to check the remains. You're just like them. 
To you, it's only a superstition to make money from. You're looking for old nails in the ashes. Like that shitbag who trades outside the inn? You're mistaking me for someone else. Really? Then give us the nail. I'm keeping it. Keeping it? Not heard what they say? Relics are like fist tech for simple folk. I don't like this place. Thought you'd want to stay the night here. I know at least a few places I'd rather sleep. Come on. Beats me why they've been fighting over these hellholes for generations. I get goosebumps every time I go outside the palisade. Guess Vic was right. We should have sat on our asses. You'll be whistling a different tune when the mist... Drowner layers, not the best spots for picnics. Curses on him! If it wasn't for you that have eaten us! We owe you our lives, Witcher. We can't let Zivik catch us. Don't shit your pants. Sabrina saved us from the monsters. So what's one little Zivik? His mother comes and tells him the Elder and the Recruiter are coming for you. Life can be really simple. I fought Nilka. Not another fucking stone. What do you want, Witcher? The soldiers you were looking for, they got held up for a while at Sabrina's circle. Ah, oh, the idiots! To be duped by witchcraft and superstitions! I'll put them to scrubbing the latrines indefinitely! But uh, I thank you for bringing them back. Your reward, as promised. Did you participate in the battle? I did. And I fought. I'd rather not go into it. The spirits of those who died in battle are now in combat on that field. They kill each other and change into nasty creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedwenis, even your comrades. I want to help them, but I have to know what happened during the battle. Oh, the plague. Listen then. The fighting started in the afternoon. The Dun Banner was first to attack. We were ambushed, cut off from our main unit and devastated. Bloody scouts and Sabrina Glevesic, who was supposed to mine the battlefield. By then, the battle was in full swing. Wherever you see those damned furrows, people fought there. The Adernian lines faltered a few times, but we couldn't crush them because of Selkirk. Yes, we had the visitor. They had Selkirk of Gullet, the invincible White Knight, Edern's finest swordsman. Wherever our forces gained the upper hand, he'd appear and reverse the fighting's course. Then, Vandergrift himself went into battle. He met Selkirk in the middle of the melee. It was a battle of titans. In the end, the visitor hacked Selkirk and sliced the White Knight from his head to his balls. Then, death fell from the heavens. Lumps of burning soil flew through the air. The whole valley was on fire. Damned magic of a damned witch! I owe my life to Priest Crest, our chaplain. He led me out of the battle and went back for the others. He had a medallion that protected him against fire. 
He led everyone out, including the Adernians. But the flames got him in the end. What happened before the battle? We forded the Pontar on the third day after the Autumn Equinox. The Adernians were waiting for us, formed up in a long line at the foot of those hills. I remember the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg, Gullet. Knights, armored infantry, peasants, the Vergen Dwarf Regiment. All save the king. They numbered more than 5,000. General Vandegrift, commander of the Kedwenis, had less than 4,000, including the elite bearheads, armored troops from Ard Karaig, and the famous white foxes of the north. And ourselves, the Don Banner, veterans of Brenner, hated by the Adernians more than the plague. But above all, we had Vandegrift the Visitor. Maybe he was a bastard, but he knew war like nobody else. Do I have this right? You served in the Dun Banner? Did indeed. Henselt's never commanded a fiercer group of warriors, and he never will. If not for us, there'd be no victory for the North at Brenner. We carried the day. I didn't see the Dun Banner in the camp. And you won't. The unit's no more. Ensign Eckhart Hennessy carried the standard into battle for the last time three years ago. Glebesig's magic? Worse. The Adernian troops, the bastards. The Dun Banner, the pride of Kedwin, lost its standard and almost all its men. The visitor refused to send us reinforcements when we were cut off. The Dun must prevail. It's been in worse shite than this. The Dun will be all right. Seven Adernians to each one of us. We had no fucking hope. Two hundred men went into battle and less than seventy came back. But that's not all. Only a few survived to this day. The boys couldn't handle it. Suicide, firewater, fistech. A few became highwaymen. They ended up on the gallows or in ditches. Memories can also kill you. And soldiers don't always deal with them well. I have to find that standard. I heard it lies in the catacombs neath Vergen, alongside my mates. Hey, if you're thinking of going there, I ought to give you my beaver skin cap. That's its rightful place. Thanks, Civic. I heard there's a man living outside the camp known as the Visionary. Ever met him? The soldiers talk about him, but I've never seen him. If I ever do, he'll regret that he fooled my people with all those superstitions. There's a soldier by the inn selling scraps from Sabrina's execution site. I know. The damn quartermaster. This business of his muddles the minds of the soldiers. Suddenly, everyone believes a splinter in your pocket will protect you in battle. Half-wits. If the relics give them courage, so be it. So far, all those candles have only brought us some tent fires. I'll tell you one thing, Witcher. In combat, I can count on my shield, my armor and my comrades, if they still live. Many of those boys will die in Vergen, even with their pockets stuffed with mystical splinters that cost a silver piece each. I want them to be afraid. When steel hits steel, I want them to be alert, damn it! If they're dumb and put their trust in rusty nails and ashes, they won't have a hope in hell. So long. I'm done with this cursed place. Hello. You nuts!
Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans. Hallowed and highly valuable. I found footprints at Sabrina's execution site. Do you know anything about that? Why would I? You found them, not me. Yet your boots are black from ash. Shh. All right. What do you want to know? Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Looked like a young nympho with an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? I'm interested in objects that belong to the soldiers who perished in the battle three years ago. Not any old things. They have to be magically active. I know how to check. That's not my speciality, Witcher. I deal in relics. Did you see Sabrina's execution? Sure I did. I was in the 5th Company. I remember the commotion when that idiot Yahon killed her with a spear. Ah, uh, if only I had that spear now. Do you remember the sorceress Sabrina? Same as all the others. Looked like a young nympho with an old hag inside. You want to talk about her? See that freak who burns candles? Where is Yahan's spear now? I don't know. Besides which, it's none of your concern. I simply won't talk about that. So long. Thanks for your help, Witcher. We were in a tight spot there. The rot fiends are multiplying like rabbits. We were on our way to see the visionary, bearing gifts and all. But I'll be damned if I'll take one more step that way. Wouldn't be on your way to see him, would you? If you are, give him this coin for us. Ah, do what you will. You'll be safe here! Over here! Inside the candles! We're safe here! I awaited them. They were to come bearing gifts. I heard their cries. Guess they were attacked. If they're not here, they must be dead. Rot fiends attacked them, but they managed to escape with their lives. Weren't up for any more adventure, though, and went back to camp. You listen. I know those soldiers. And I know they do all kinds of nasty things. But not one of them would dare cheat me. What do you want from me? I'll not believe you came here by chance. Yeah, you're right. I need to learn some things, and few are willing to talk. Sabrina Glevisig's story. That's what interests me most. Listen, I'll not speak with you until I get my coin. 
pure and simple. Though I do provide charitable help to the faithful, if you were to become one of them. Do you mock me? What's the idea? This is piddling. I've heard a lot of good things about you. All right, I'll become a follower. Wonderful. Listen then, for I'll not say this twice. If your intentions are pure, you will do as I ask. Each convert must pass a test. You will spend the night at the old chapel near Sabrina's pupils. Where? Twin Lakes I have named in our honor. Is that all? Before you kneel to meditate, you will drink the mixture I shall give you. You must then remember all that occurs. That's very important, as you'll need to recount it to me fully. All right, I'll come back once I'm done.
Huh? What other matters? I did what you asked. Tell me what you saw. You may think I am as mad as you are, but in my vision I walked through a forest where the trees were huge mushrooms and a giant chicken walked between them, pecking at the underbrush. You have no idea how happy I am. I've been having this vision of a giant hen among mammoth mushrooms for weeks. I thought I'd lost it, gone insane. Turns out my herbs must have gone off. I need to gather new ones, but that's my concern. Ask me what you will. You must know a lot about Sabrina Glevisig's death. Uh, Sabrina the Martyr left the world of the living to protect us all. Did you hear about the curse Sabrina cast on the King? Of course. A well-deserved punishment. A ghostly spell from her crimson lips. The King concocted a cruel fate for the sorceress. Humiliated her, made her suffer the flames. Bound to a wheel and placed on the stake. She suffered in a way unimaginable to ordinary humans. But when the flame reached her maiden waist, not a single cry could be heard. Only words foretelling King Hensel's imminent demise. Let a shooting star split the heavens and mark its mortal journey with a braid of blood. Let fools be duped by the sight of fish scales, turned by magic into square pieces of gold. Let the unicorn violate thousand-year-old rules, prompting a just punishment. Sabrina suffered so badly that a merciful soldier ended her torment, thrusting his spear into her aching heart. Any chance of finding that spear? It was so long ago, Witcher. But I believe the spear went to another soldier. The bugger sells relics from Our Lady by the Camp Inn. I know who you mean. Why the candles? What's the difference between Sabrina and other mages burned at the stake? Others were strong in life. Her power bloomed when death wrapped its steely arms around her. She took the soldier who ended her suffering under her kind care. He never had to fear walking alone in the dark again. Have you seen the area? It's full of beasts and monstrosities. Jahan, the merciful soldier, has walked in the blaze of our power ever since. No creature born of darkness can get close to him. So long. Relics, artifacts, trinkets and talismans, hallowed and highly valuable. I know you have the spear Jahan used to pierce Sabrina's heart. I told you about that, and I thought the old freak was trying to forget the sins of his past. I need that spear. Tough luck, Witcher. I last saw it a few years back. What happened to it? Look how similar we are. You want knowledge? I want coin, and we both need help to get what we want. How much? What are your customary take-ins on a contract? I'll gladly accept but one half of that.
Tell me what you know and we'll part in peace. You know the price? I can't go any lower. You'll have to go a lot lower when it turns out your business isn't exactly crystal. You've got nothing on me. The camp's full of pretty simple soldier folk. I mean, I doubt they'll listen to reason when they learn one of the vendors has been chiseling them. Bastard. Right back at you. Now talk. You see, when Yahan lost his head for Sabrina, I bought the spear from the innkeeper. The donkey's ass pawned it in the inn. He drank like a fish. By then, Yahan had already hidden in the hills where no one dares to venture. Some call him the visionary, but in my book, he's just a nutter. Beats me why the beasts don't attack him. A fisherman who supplies the canteen said that some monsters hate the smell of fish oil. Yahon makes candles out of it. What did you do with the spear? Sorry to say I lost it in a dice game. Shame, because today it'd fetch a good price. I lost the spear to a soldier who later fought the squirrels in the forests of the Pontar Valley. He told me he'd used it to kill some Scoyatel big shot. I heard the shaft cracked as if there'd been some fucking jousting tournament. The most interesting thing is, that big shot is still alive. I heard he's now with that vixen from Edern. Some frigging commander. Elves are weird creatures. Who knows, maybe he still has that spearhead. Yorvith. You know him. I'll tell you for a hundred orans. Bah! So long. Greetings. The scared of going against the same. Still, oh, the enemy the have fed you their propaganda. The whole camp's gone berserk looking for the coins. Grown lads with their arses in the air. Spoiled my dad. I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck you may even plough her. You're sick, Death Mold. They say she's very pretty. Peasant girls not to your liking? Not your concern. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With his majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the spectres. Thanks. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the King's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire, which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. See you. Good to see you, you old rogue. Why the long face, Sultan? Everything's fucked. The only sight worse than a sad dwarf is the sight of a very sad dwarf. I don't suppose you have any vodka? Do I look like a liquor peddler? You've always enjoyed a tipple. Let me tell you, Zoltan, I'd kill for a drink with you too. What's stopping you? If I'm drunk, I just might not manage. That's fucking worrying. 
If you need a change of climate, come with me. I'm on my way to Vergen. You say that as if you're going to the brothel round the corner? Forgetting about the specters? I may have amnesia, but I remember the curse. Well, all I get around here is non-human midget and the like. And I've dwarven brethren on that side. Sure as shit, I'll take Saska over that prick Hensel too. You really willing to help me cross? Of course. You know, Geralt, I have a feeling that Vergen's where I should be. I get you. Let's go. How do you plan to get through the fog? Thought it was suicide to venture into it. Death Mode gave me a protective amulet. Throw it out! I wouldn't touch anything belonging to that dick! I had a choice. Navigate the fog with an amulet or without it. Seemed safer with. You're the expert on that magic shite, I guess? Just trust me and stay close. Oh, what the hell. Better the devil you know. I'll come with you. I can't wait to have some proper ale instead of that piss water to drink in the Kidwini camp. Thanks again, Geralt.
Tell him! Adrian! Stop! You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed. But we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before he... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. It's Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive. Pinch me, Burton, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. Ha <laughs> I'm afraid there's no mage out there who can conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpin Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here scaling burden. Geralt, what are you doing standing there as if you swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate! We're in a bit of a hurry. Got important matters to resolve. I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvath and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around. Yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. Scalen, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink, cautious as a novice strumpet. I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right then. See that, Scalen? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. Ah, youth these days. Lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenna, lad? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate. I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Pray, mighty. Off we go then. At your service. Oh, 
have you seen? Do the gods favor Lady Saskia, she claims? The gods never favor the Deviants. They're willing to fight for us, let them. I see no need to pick me up. So it's really haunted then? It is! They should make it a man that's been told to be Hello there! Clerics. They truly believe in the afterlife after seeing that. How do you think?
Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Vergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Maria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Temerians took the center. Correct. Perhaps you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. Menno Kohorn. Repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? Your memory has suffered after death. Kohorn perished. At Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You were right. Memory often fails us after death. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Perhaps the most important day of my life. I'm the last. Be so good as to remind me. Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Seltkirk spared me. If not for the beaver cap you wear, I would speak to you no longer. Try once more. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle. Or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. But I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Go back where you belong, corpse. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Failed, Geralt. That was not the best idea, Witcher. Dwarves are poor liars in general, and that's especially true of this one. You know everything you need to know? Yes. You need the weapon to lift the curse from Henselt and free the souls of the Fallen. Well, lady, I know you're at war with Henselt, but the curse threatens Vergen as well. It's a field of uncontrollable magic energy. No need to exert yourself. I know this. The sword shall be yours. Just like that? Yes. I'm glad to help and thank you on behalf of the Vergenes, the souls of whose loved ones will finally be granted the peace they have so long deserved. Thank you, and good luck. See you, Zoltan, and don't get killed. Nor you, you old prick. See you again, someday. <clears throat> Saskia, I forgot one wee thing. Geralt wishes to meet with Jorvith. He's got dealings with the elf. I need the head of the spear used to finish off Sabrina as she uttered the curse. Jorvith had it when we ran into each other in Flotsam. He lost it playing dice. Scalen now has the spearhead. The young burden is a gambler, an addict, and perhaps Vergen's top sharp. You should speak to him. Jorvith put that spearhead up as a bet? When it comes to getting folk to sit down to a game of poker, Scalen can be convincing. His pack is bulging with treasures. You'd be surprised. All one at dice. I won't need convincing. We'll see how he does against me. Farewell to you both. of Jorvith's spear. I do indeed. I could use that spearhead. Not a chance in hell. It's my trophy. Wanted off the greatest killer among elves. In certain circles, that makes me a hero. What were you playing? Dice poker. I've rolled a few dice in my time. Do I hear a challenge? Mm -hmm. I trust you'll not ask me for a handicap. Though I must warn you, I aim to be merciless. Curse or no curse. Let's begin. <laughs> 
You play like a true sharp. Almost like a cheat. But, true to my word, the spearhead's yours. Thanks, Scalen. I heard you have a few more interesting trinkets I could win off you. I could find something. Good, you're here. The Nilfgaardians attacked us. Any idea why? They were loitering around here, staring into the fog as if waiting for something. I summoned Fenn, Silas, and a few others, and told Vess to cover us from a distance while we went to talk to them. So, I asked the Black Dogs courteously why they were gazing into the fog, as if the Emperor himself was about to emerge from it. No answer. But I can see the anger. Knitted brows, faces reddening. And they start growling to each other in that dog's tongue of theirs. A woman came out of the mist, beautiful and barely alive. She dropped to the ground and a small object slipped from her hand. It was a jade figurine, no larger than a man's hand. If I didn't know it was impossible, I'd say it was Triss turned into a statuette. It is possible. Artifact compression. Where's this woman? I don't know. The girl growled at the soldiers and all hell broke loose. The Black Ones jumped us and she ran off towards the camp. I need to follow her. We're going with you. Fall in! We're too late! Is the Percival ready to sail? 
It is. But they will not let us go. Henselt has plans of his own. I couldn't give a shit about Henselt. Schillard has Triss, and I need to save her. It's not an option. They'll not let us sail until you lift the curse. And we've no chance of catching the Nilfgaardians on foot. If they wanted to kill her, she'd be dead already. Besides which, we know where they've gone. Loch Muin, Witcher. The monarchs and mages are to meet and decide the fate of the known world. You will find Triss there, I promise. Henselt awaits you, Richard. At last. Have you got Sabrina's spear? Not only that, I've got all three artifacts. You won't regret it. Let's do some magic! She died here. And pissed and shat as she did. Evil place. You can feel it in the air. Those candles don't help any either. They've gone mad. Someone said the bitch died a martyr, and now the common folk burn candles for her. I have to observe this place from a distance. During the execution, I was on that hill. I'll show you. Scary place. What this will take long. Flat area. That's good. Are you concerned for your feet? Your Majesty, you need to draw runic protective signs around the stake. Magic signs are the domain of witches, not kings. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's important that you draw the circle yourself, Your Majesty. Important for whom? It was your death, Sabrina foretold. So who do you think? All right. Tell me what we do. To lift the curse, we have to reenact the events from three years ago. How do you wish to do that if half of those involved lie rotten with the worms? It's about the energy of that time. The energy of the woman who cast the curse, combined with the energy of its victim. <laughs> when you get the runic signs right, Sabrina's ghost will appear. Bring the bitch to life. It'll be a pleasure to put my spear in her. Remember to stab her in exactly the same spot as that soldier did but earlier this time, before the sorceress completes the curse. I look for the hole. But how am I to know when? When you realize that the curse concerns you. But be ready, she may use a different name. Is that all? For you. Then I take over. Spectres might appear during the exorcism. Might or will? It depends on Sabrina's aura in the spirit world. I'll wager ghosts loathe the cunt. Let's get it over with. Tell me what I am to draw. You have to go down there, your majesty. What about you? I'll guide you. I have a good view from up here. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. We need to start again. Head towards the Black Candles, Your Majesty. I must have got it wrong, sire. We need to start again. Now spread the powder and head for the stone bowl. Find the Raven's corpse, Your Majesty.
Now towards the burnt tree. Now go towards the goat skull, your majesty. Head towards the black candles, your majesty. Pour the powder towards the petrified bread loaf, your majesty. Go towards the pixie ring, your majesty. Sire, form a large, even circle at a good distance from the pyre. It's turned out beautifully. Pity the wind will soon scatter it. The evil power of the curse came from the fire. Fire is a hard element to tame, and this one had added potency. It consumed the body of the one casting the curse. Enough of these phantasmagorias, as Death Mold puts it. Look at my boots. Stay in the circle, Your Majesty. The powder reeks of dwarven dung. They're scared of ghosts as we all are. Curses! There's hundreds of them! Calm down, Your Majesty. We're protected by the magic runes. The ghosts won't get past the barrier. I'm not afraid of people, but those plowing creatures have begun to bother me. You're safe if you stay within the runes. What should I do? When the sorceress calls your name, you have to show mercy and end her suffering with the spear. You've broken the circle. Spectres could get through. What shall we do? I'll take care of them. You finish the exorcism, Your Majesty. Curse you, Henselt! By blood and fire! Take that. Let it be so by blood and fire! Split the heavens and walk its mortal journey with a trail of blood! Let fools be juiced by the sight of fish scales turned by magic into square pieces of gold!
Are you sure? All I can say for sure is that a dwarf can pass between a troll's legs, even on tiptoe. But I think it went well. Good. For me and for you. But all the worse for Edern. I've separated you from the curse, but it remains active and powerful. The Spectres of the Fallen continue to fight in the fields outside Vergen. You'll find a way, like you did with that charcoal slot. That'll be much harder. I have faith in you, and faith can move mountains. Funny you say that. I need an artifact symbolizing faith. Yes, Deathmold told me. I'll give you the medallion. First, I must have a drink. Come to my tent. I'll roll out my best wine. You deserve it! Guard up. That's more like it. His yeah. mother comes and tells him the elder Please and stay. the recruiter are coming for you. Life can be really strange. I fought for Nilfgaard. Everything fine. Great. The king is occupied. Return after sundown. Spoiled my day. I'm glad you're here. A messenger from Adania arrived this morning. Read. The King of Redania, Radovid V, son of Vizima and Hedrig from Malior, the heir... Get to the point. The point is, it's not true that after the death of King Foltest, Temeria will be inherited. In truth, Foltest left a lawful heir. Who is this heir? Due to the tragic death of Prince Busi, his sister Anais will inherit the Temerian crown. Witcher, you fought in the battles for the Lavalette's fortress. Tell me, how old is this princess? She's too young to rule. Remind me, who's her mother? She is the king's daughter. Foltest wanted to recognize her as his own. The Foltest I remember would never do that. If you counted all the bastards I begat, I could fill all the thrones of the north. What the hell's going on? Guards!
are they? They wanted to kill me. Me! Ha! The scum. Witcher, we must talk. Deathmold said you needed this medallion. You saved my life, and I'm not nearly as ungrateful as some might say. You'll receive the pendant in due time. Pity none could be taken alive. Don't fret, Tanzerville. There are ways to make a dead man speak. I know those methods. Necromancy is forbidden. In the absence of the Council and the Conclave, it's hard to know what is forbidden. What would you say, Your Majesty? I want to know everything. Plow that corpse if you have to. Do anything it takes. Necromancy, Your Majesty, is a branch of magic. I don't care. Do as you're told. Count me out. Ah, as the common folks say, be at ease, the woman's gone. I'll need your help, Witcher. You know where to find me. It's never ending. I'm the bloody king, but she mumps and sulks like some common servant was trying to grope her. Not every sorcerer is like Death Mold. Many don't like messing with corpses. As long as she's in my camp, she'll do as I say. Go. Death Mold is probably biting his nails in anticipation. Got a black cat. Geralt of Rivia, ready for the ride of your life. Can't handle this without me. You're a mutant, like this killer. An ordinary man would never survive Han Marvin's blue dream. You must drink a potion that will increase your heart's efficiency and strengthen your blood vessels. Hallucinogenic properties are also welcome, as they will enhance the vision. Gadwall should do it. You look your normal self. Have you had your fill of fortifying potions? It would be foolish if you died due to a simple oversight. Not just yet. We need to prepare. Gadwall should do it. Necromancy's awfully fishy. What do you aim to do? Han Marvin's Blue Dream is a spell that grants you a glimpse of a dead man's memories. You'll see, feel, and taste what the killer experienced in his life. As a mutant, the operation isn't at all dangerous for you. I need to do something before we begin. Have a drink, plow a girl, do something to relax. Whatever it takes. I am Myron, Master Apothecary in King Hensel's service. Geralt. Geralt. Provenance and profession known only to him, so be it. How can I help you? I want to stock up on herbs and medicine. Got a prescription? A prescription? I jest. We have supply shortages, so I can only sell you certain medicaments. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wonderful. The Blue Dream can be very useful, although it only lets you see the killer's recent past. Hope it's worth it. Pay attention to every detail, places, names, everything. Got it. Let's begin! Vekina Zanzala! I nearly got lost in that fog. Look at it this way. Nobody will find us here. Unless Hensel attacks Bergen despite the mist. Hensel's not going to attack anyone ever again. Always the obvious boss. Behaves as if he wants to help us. What do you mean? You've seen him. He loves playing the soldier. He's everywhere. He's reckless. That the will want him assassinated like the others. Finally, some action. We've been skulking in these caves like bats. Not be like a bat slain by the king's mercenaries. What is it, Ox? Scared? I heard that Deadpool never lets him into like his sight, and now a witch is arrived in the camp. One of him, three of us. But you know who it is. I know, damn it, but don't let it get to you. It's Triss Merigold who worries me. If she betrays that Sheila ordered us to get rid of Demervent, things will get out of hand. Letho should kill him. He should, but apparently he only kills kings. Here at last. They're guarding the camp like it was a princess's chastity. Did you learn anything? The White Wolf has arrived at the Kedweni camp with Vernon Roach. Looks like he's Hensult's lackey now. I'd rather Hensult used others as his lackeys. With his amnesia, we're safe. Not so. That's exactly what makes him so dangerous. We have to be careful. Especially now we've broken off with Yorveth and his bunch. There's something else. Sheila de Tanzerville. You're right. Our sorceress is playing hard. De Tanzerville has done her job. We don't need her anymore. We won't kill her. Not just yet. You know best. That's right. The main thing now is to get rid of Hamsold. You'll go soon. What about you? I'm heading to Loch Nguyen. That's where things will be decided. We'll meet again soon, if you're careful. To drink a jug of wine and laugh about it? Who knows? I'll take the palisade. We'll meet by the cave entrance. And I heard you stashed some of the duty in the caves near the camp. Quiet! Do you want everyone else to know? I don't know who told you, but you'll get your share if you keep your trap shut. Is it a deal? Fuck, I suppose so. I'll go tell the others.
everything. What did you find out? They're hiding in the ravines. The other ones probably fled there. Our dead man should have a key on him. Do you remember anything else? They said Sheila de Tanzerville was an accomplice in the murder. Sheila? She was here while you were lying in a trance. She said she'd follow the second assassin. Do you remember anything else? There's no time to waste. I'll follow them. Good luck, Geralt.
battalion fight ready. the evidence. What evidence? We didn't want to leave you. What are you talking about? Nearly made it. Just think. The wild hunt. We could have freed the world of the omen of war. September 13th, 1269, the ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269, Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270. A high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270. The Yuruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer.
his mother comes and tells him, the elder and the recruiter are coming for you. Life can be really scary. I fought the little guy. Audrin, where are Aldrin! you? Audrin! Spoiled my day. Did you get him? Sheila got to him first. He's dead. The bitch! She's probably on the other side of the mist by now. Come on, Witcher. We've got to remove that damn curse. I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. Allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. Greetings. Audrin! Audrin, where are you? To wait, slaughter the cat when he must. Wait, time's not right. Sometimes I forget what to fight him for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why do Demavend and Hensel's duel to settle things? My brother in law is from Kedwin, a decent fellow. Once I was at a market there, quality goods cheaper than our merchants, too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Kedwinian is a bastard. You know what they'll do to our women if we lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn, and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Horse and seed! Autumn! No! Wait for the signal! There's no time to lose! Silence! Archers! Light your arrows! Aim at the first ditch! Get them! Catch on the enemy standard!
standards in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. First battle. Killed my first man. Got blood on my hands. in the battlefield, Captain. Yes, sir. They must have dug those ditches in the night. The field was clear by day. Lady Glefizik scanned it with her magic during the night. Ten lashes to each scout. Hang every third one. My lord, we need support. There will be no reinforcements. You must hope. And you, Glefizik, I'll settle this after the battle. The king will learn of your incompetence. Battles are won or lost by the commanders, not by sorceresses. Remember, I'll make a report too, and... I'll finish talking to you, witch. Time to win this battle. My lords, to your battles. the fray! Maybe you finished with me, but that doesn't mean I finished with you. Nadu <laughs> My place at Hensel's court is threatened. Furthermore, if Vandergrift wins the battle, nothing will stop Hensel from taking Upper Edom. The balance of power in the north will be upset. What do you intend? I shall summon Melgar's fire to the battlefield. It will kill Vandergrift and weaken both sides. Any use of unconventional weapons may be severely censored. I'm aware of that. Hensel's hegemony is counter to the Lodge's plans. We will help you, but remember, in the event that you fail, you'll be on your own. I am ready. That's all you've got? You're dying fast! Like roaches under my boot. Is there a kid when he's a match? Sell Kirk of Gallic on this field.
will awaken this meeting. Leave, Ghost. I'll not give up an opportunity to duel Van der Grift. He will kill you. Selkirk does not fear death. When you die, your soldiers will die every day afterwards. Forever. Leave! This is a task for a Witcher, not a knight. I do this solely for my men. Who are you? <laughs> Your nightmare! Should have stayed at home, Van de Grift. First natives to die after such a victory. Gods, we can't fight such sorcery. Sorcerers are punishing by the wrong. Why are they doing this? As the prophecy says, the time will come when sorceresses turn on them. Flaming balls rain from the sky, and destruction will be unleashed. What should we do? Wait here for death! I shall lead you as a shepherd leads his flock, safely from the dark abyss! Save us, sire! Sabrina, is that your work? Order your troops forward, your majesty. The Adernian army is rooted. Not only the Adernian. Look at that terrified horde. This very morning they were the finest of my knights. They'll make it if they're reinforced. Who allowed you to use magic? Sire, if you strike now, your mark will be yours. You've tainted my honor. Brought death to dozens of knights. Sire, the battle is lost. You're put into shame before them offend. His troops fought like men of honor should, to the end. Sabrina Grevesig, I sentence you to death. You shall burn at the stake. I will return to claim my birthright.
July 25th, 1270. The forests of Angren. No mighty mortal, no heap of meat or strong man can parry the strike of the slizzard's tail. Letho couldn't either, but by some miracle he survived. I helped him. After all, witchers on the path should help each other. He had two comrades, brother witchers from the school of the Viper. The hunt continued south, and Letho of Gullet knew where it was going. He knew where the hellish chase would end. Hmm. Finally awake? Where are we? In one of the safest places in the camp, my friend. The brothel? Mm-hmm. Did you come here to fuck? You gotta be kidding! My friend on his deathbed? I, I couldn't possibly do that. Look around. You're in a whorehouse. In a professional capacity only. How did I wind up here? I found you out in the fields, unconscious. The fog? Gone. Three days ago. Three days? You sure? Mm-hmm. In that time, Roach ventured deep into Kedwen on some secret mission. Managed to go off and come back. Cedric was right. The power within the Battle of Spectres restores memory. Ah. So, did you get a look at another chapter of the epic poem titled Geralt of Rivia? I remember who helped me track down the Wild Hunt. Who? Letho, Foltest's murderer. I saved his life and he knew where to find the Wild Hunt. I don't know if we rescued Yennefer. So, what happened while I was out? Loads. You drove off the Fog of Spectres. Hensel learned of the plot against him and Deathmold lost it completely. Why has Henselt waited to attack? The Kedwini nobles and officers are holding out for privileges. They want assurances there'll be no treaty with Nilfgaard, and that they'll get lands in the Pontar Valley. Henselt agreed. Not on your life. He blew up. Roared and wailed and called them cowards. Thing is, he can't alienate the nobles completely. It went on for three days. Finally, he convinced part of the army, probably promised him a thing or two, and moved against Vergen. The battle's probably just getting underway. What did you mean when you said the Death Molds lost it? Hensel chewed him out for not telling him about the plot. Then he chewed him out again for failing to find the plotters. Death Mold's an ambitious guy. I can see how the stress might have gotten to him. That ambitious guy has had every last suspect arrested. Now he's interrogating, torturing, and hanging them. Yeah, he always goes back to what he does best. Any news on who might be behind the plot? They arrested Breitfeldt, Kiram of Kangorn, and Gunnar Bleckenhove and his entourage, but I haven't heard any details. Though I do know where to find the leader of the plotters. How come? I've always maintained that brothels are some of the best places under the sun. They're not only great places to... Get to the point, Dandelion. I overheard Whistling Wendy talking. Incidentally, don't let her nickname fool you. She's got a beautiful... Focus, Dandelion. Haven't the faintest who she was talking to. Never saw his face. But I heard him clearly. Further instructions from the boss. Today, in the hut on the cliff. Dandelion, there's one more thing. Tell me. Your pamphlet. If Deathmold finds out. Right. We need to get out of here. You need to get out of here. Quick. I'm not about to leave you behind, Geralt. Adventure awaits. Kingdoms teeter. Plenty of things to write up in ballads. Damn it, Dandelion. Game's over. Can't you see that? When Death Mold finds you, you've got to go somewhere far from the Pontar Valley. All right. I'll do it for you. I'll go to Oxenford, say hello to some of our old friends. But just as soon as this blows over, I'll come looking for you. I know. We have unfinished business to take care of. What now, Geralt? I need to find Sheila and the Kingslayer. Then I need to get my memory back. First, I'm gonna find out who's behind this plot, though I expect I already know. Think it's Sheila? Leave, Dandelion. Hide, and I'll see you soon, old friend.
How many more can there be? We must rid ourselves of that I'm mage, whatever the cost. Three years ago, you promised financial assistance. We were to convey information and resist Death Mold and his supporters in most matters. Nothing's changed. But it has. Foltest and Demoven had their throats slit. Someone we know not who wanted to slaughter the unicorn. The situation's fucking tense, and Death Mold's stronger than ever. More importantly, you've nothing to offer us. The Tamarian treasury is closed to you. Gentlemen. You forget what will happen if the King learns of our dealings. We'll not be intimidated, Roach. And remember, you speak to nobles. I've been in Kedwin for three days, traveled through nearby villages and towns, saw old friends, sounded out the mood, asked for news outright. The people of Kedwin detest Deathmold and his thugs. They await the man who would dare to wring his neck. Someone approaches. Weapons. Easy there. What the swiven hell is he doing here? He woke up and walked over, if I am to guess. We didn't approve this. How did he know of our meeting? Something I'd like to know as well. Geralt? I have my ways. Unimportant. But it is. If you know, others might know. Overheard a conversation between Whistling Wendy and one of you gentlemen. How dare you, freak? I have a wife. It's shut. It's all shut, Roach. We return to our banners to aid the king in battle. Your plot is done, dissolved, having achieved nothing. Gentlemen. You were gone three days. Been back at the camp? Any idea what's going on there? I haven't, but continue to get news from those traitors. Who have they arrested? Dandelion mentioned Brightfelt, Kirim of Cainghorn, and... Not good. Kirim has been one of the plotters since the beginning. He knows me. Maybe the interrogators have yet to start on him. Quickly. Back to the camp. We need to warn Vess and the others. We've no time! Finally, you're here! Where'd everyone go? 
they were invited to a banquet. How do you know? I saw Deathmold's messenger arrive. What is this feast? A celebration. Apparently Deathmold exposed the leader of some conspiracy. The syphilitic prick. Where's this banquet taking place? The Camp Canteen. But it'll be empty now. Everyone's marched on Vergen. Quickly. Finally, you're here! I'll kill the sons of bitches. They'll suffer and die, long and painfully. Yes. What happened? Deathmold invited everyone to a feast. He said the king was grateful that we'd helped reveal the plot. A roast pig and two barrels of wine awaited, he said. He said Vernon had just returned from Kedwin. He was to be personally decorated by the king, and I was to be there to see it. The lads went to the canteen, I went to the royal tent. Well, Roach was not in the king's company. Deathmold jumped around like an ape, shouting that they'd all hang as punishment for Flotsman for conspiring. Vess, what did they do to you? I begged them. I pleaded. They laughed at me and let me go. Your Majesty, withdraw your order, I beg you. They're normal fighting men who were just following orders. They don't deserve to die. Please, sire, show mercy. They're men of honour. They deserve better. Honour? Where was your honour when... Deathmold, leave us. Your Grace. What can a whore know of honor? You're a stupid little strumpet, and that is how I shall treat you. You'll behave if you want to see any of your foolish comrades again. Don't go there, please, Roach. Deathmold expects you to seek vengeance. He awaits it. He won't need to wait long. Don't you understand? They hang the lads to provoke you. 
You were away. They had a battle to win. They didn't know when you'd return. You cannot go there. We won't. We'll follow the army. Kill every kid Winnie we meet. That's suicide. Plow it all! Everything I loved died in this tent. My country disintegrates. My friends cruelly murdered. I want blood. As do I. You've no idea how much. I can still smell that swine on me, but I'll not let them win. Attack Hensilt now. Among his army and blood will flow. But it will only be yours. Vess is right, Roach. Let it go for now. Fuck! What do you suggest I do? We'll try to get to Vergen through the ravines. I know a hidden path into the town. With the battle raging, we won't be noticed. We'll find Sheila and get the Kingslayer. And in the process, kill as many Kedwinnies as we can. Vess, can you manage it? Vess stays. I'll not put her in danger again. And someone must get back to the Percival and its crew. Sail to a nearby cove. We'll need some way to get out of here. I'll take the boat around the bend past the camp and await you there. We must head through the ravines. Shit, shit, shit. Vess is lying. I can bounce back up in my life. I can't believe she escaped death mode. <laughs> Nothing. I advise you to shut up and keep your eyes and ears open. Pleasure comes later. Beast. A troll. Watch it. He could break your neck with a single blow. Do I look like a cow? Who are you? What want? We're passing through. We shall trolls kill. Me kill. Not easy. Run! Old man coming. Old man rip apart you. Calm down, you silly cow. We're on our way to Vergen. Where want run, go. This way, not. My home is. Folk in and out. No peace for troll. Bother, bother. Who does? Folk. Geralt, let's end this beast's suffering. Wait. Who's been bothering you? Try to remember. We shall other. Shinehead here come. Fat. Did you speak to him? Tried, but he my face. Whack! Old man called. Beat in your missus! He sword show. Blood springs. Old man down. Wounds. We shall say, rush to Lomin. You mean Lokmuin? So said. We shall say, rushed. Other he'd take old man's. You mentioned that already. Good to chat. No harm in talking, see? <sighs> Sleep I. Run out go. Sweet dreams. Old man see, tell not wake me. I want sleep. No! 
how many more can there be? Yourself, troll. From Gali come. There, my missus. Her see? We did, yes. She? How? She's all right, but don't wake her or she'll rip your head off. Dear old bug, like me, she. Live a fresh she.
looks like Death Mode's people know about the secret passage, too. Witcher Geralt and Vernon Roach. Now that's some pairing. Out of our way, Pangret. Come on, Roach. You know this is no chance meeting. You never appear anywhere by chance, always turning up where the pay's best. You haven't changed a bit. Think you're superior because you wiped the royal arse. Sad. Kill them! Oh! <laughs> 
You said you'd got rid of them. I underestimated them. You'll pay for my people, you whore's son, for each and every one of them. So don't underestimate them this time, and never let me down again. Perfect foe for you. Don't chase me, it would be stupid. <laughs> that was a good fight. I'd forgotten how well you witchers do sword in hand. What now? You murdered my men. I had nothing to do with it. Wasn't even there. Hanselt ordered your men killed. On Death Mole's urging. I'll not ask for your mercy. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I'd do in your position. But should you decide to spare me, you have my word I'll go and stay out of your way. I'll hold you to your word. Go where you will. Next time, choose your missions more carefully. Perhaps it's time to rest. Got a woman in Tredegar. Julia. She's expecting. You knocked up pretty kitty. Oh, congratulations, Pagret. And give her my regards. Thanks, Witcher. I won't be needing this anymore. Take it. Farewell to you both. See you next time a war rolls around.
Bastard! Yes, this is more than just through the tunnels. They tried. Glad you knocked it out of their heads. So good to see you. Lord Thunderlion and rest in Roxford. Who did Plowing Cross this time? Hansel. <laughs> Hansel's about to get whooped bare arse and all. Dandelion could have stayed. Get out of here while you can. Oh, there'd be nothing dwarven about that. Leaving my mates! Just don't get killed. Don't get killed yourself. You it. As soon as Vergen's victorious, I'll find Dandelion. I owe that much. Incidentally, what are you doing here? We're looking for Sheila to tell us. Staying in the house of that other sorceress. What's her name? That's it. Maybe they're screwing because I heard that fellow. Where's the house? It's the furthest to the north. Shortest way is across the road. Now listen. There's a secret passage extending beyond the city walls. Thanks. One more thing. It's surrounded by him. He's holding up in the town hall with a handful of squirrels. There's the bridge, let's go. Ah! <laughs> 
Where are they? No idea. Tell me, or I'll... Don't make me laugh. You wouldn't let me out of your mind anyway. A soothsayer now. Kill him! Certainly, Fence. It seems I've met my match. You've won the battle, but lost the war. The city's in my hands. And you're in mine. For the good of the Temerian crown, Vernon Roach is prepared to do anything. If needed, he becomes a murderer and requires others to do the same. Bernard Lurido had only disdain for the world, gave it nothing but suffering. I helped Roach, joined him and his people, and I had to face another choice. Killing the commander of a forgotten trading post is not the same as killing a king. even if both are murderers and rapists. Vernon Roach, Temerian cockerel of the Blue Stripes, what will you do with me? You know perfectly well. You won't kill me. You wouldn't dare. I'm the King of Kedwin and soon of Lawmark. The North won't survive without me. I've won. Do you know why I rushed into battle? Do you? I had to resolve it before Loch Muin. He's playing for time. Let's kill him. Wait. Tell us, King. What's going to happen in Loch Muin? A new world order. New borders. Everything will change. All the kings and princes of the North will be there. Do you know the old saying? He who controls the Pontar Valley controls the North. Have the mages been invited? It's their idea. They want to revive the Council and Conclave. They want to regain their rights and privileges, their place in society. What tripe. I've outsmarted them all. I'll be the one to dictate treaties. I'll show them who's ruler. You had my men killed. Of course I had them killed. What do you do with spies in Temeria? Give them awards? None of those hanged were part of the plot. Only me. You know the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Your villainy knows no bounds. What do you call villainy? The fact that I've made Ketwen stronger than ever? You fool. I'm the last ruler of the North whom Nilfgaard must respect. And it will. Witcher, reason with him. murder and rape royal virtues of the New Order too? Every wench dreams of being ploughed by a king. And Vess? Did she complain to you? 
I thought she liked it. She squeaked like an unoiled hinge. I'm leaving you two alone. Squeaky hinge. Funny. Very funny. You wouldn't dare. Enough of this plowing chatter. Someone needs to die, and I'll sleep better for it. I am Henselt of Ardkareg, the last of the unicorns. I won't beg for mercy. Look me in the eyes. Go on! Take your revenge! <laughs> <laughs> A flea has bitten a lion. Insult. Only we know what happened here. Well, and Henselt. The sooner we forget it, the better. I'll erase it from my memory. Sheila teleported herself to Loch Mwing. Where there's Sheila, there's Letho. The murderers are gathering for their peace talks. We have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> 